And I'm just not going to go for it. I don't care if they offer me a million bucks. I'm not going to go for it. So, it was their contractors that came on and took all my fence down and just made all kinds of ruts down there. Finally, they admitted it was their contractor who did that because Bucko has never done anything like that before. But it was a mess. Blue herons go back and forth from the Cedar Lake, you know, Moncton Pond, down into our area every day. We have Canada geese. We have just all that kind of stuff that's different. Yes, the threatening eminent domain. And how much did they offer you? $42,000. Why are you against it? You are just raised? Um, because I think it's, an, it's a fossil fuel, it's another evil fuel. Yes, we have propane, yes, we have oil, but we already have those. And we have no choice but to use those until we can get alternatives. But there's doesn't make sense to make a hundred year investment into another fossil fuel. The farm behind us is where they want to put the uh, fracked gas pipeline. This is in Moncton, Vermont. We're at uh, Laughing Tree Farm. Um, she says it from the far hedge line, there's a the white chunk there, it's the neighbor's land, but it would come through both of their properties straight through here. We have wetland down here. This is an organic farm. You'd have a like a pipeline leaking methane. Not only did we have to go into the 248 process and defend ourselves against what Vermont Gas had, Velco had their lawyers there trying to defend their interests. So we're fighting like both sides of the corporation Plus with the different town. attorneys, and, well, and our town is convinced that this is the better route. So we're fighting our town attorney. You know, at the same time, it's like, come on, you know, oh, like, you can't sit here and say we have a climate change issue and we need to get off from fossil fuels, but let's build out a hundred year pipeline of fossil fuels. Right. There's just so many things that are so wrong with this and like, you know, I just, I can't see them, I'm not going to cooperate and let them use my land to put a pipeline in when I know that you look down the line of where this gas is coming from and it's just damaging so many other people's mm -hmm. land. You know, I mean, they're having health issues, their cattle are getting sick, their water's getting contaminated. I don't want to be part of that. You know, no. I mean, that, that's nothing I want to be involved in. You know, I want to be involved in the solution, not in the, in the problem, and be part of the problem. Mm -hmm. that, you know, there are people on the other side of this pipeline that are being damaged, and they said, you know, unless it's damaging people in Vermont, we can't even look at that. <laughs> it's like, come on, it's damaging somebody right. else, you know. We're no longer a little town separated and isolated, you know, we're a global community, you know, we've globalized the economy, we have to take responsibility for not only our neighbor across the road, but across the county, across the country, across the border. You know, they say this gas comes from western Alberta. Well, I if this things pipeline here. was necessary, it would be a different story. Yep. If it was something that we needed, but we don't need it. It's we not necessary. It. It's a, it's a couple of corporations that want it, and this is why they're building it, and this is why we have to host it because they want it, and that's that's the whole crux of it. If 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 it was necessary, and if they had the time and the money to do it right, um, it'd be a whole different story, you know. But this is not what we need at this time of the climate crisis. Yeah. It's not what we need for Vermont because Vermont doesn't. Vermont is okay without natural gas. I mean, there are, it is in Franklin County and Chittenden County. They keep saying that um, we need it for the economic stimulus. Well, Franklin County is not where anybody in Addison County wants to go. You know, we don't want to be like Franklin County. County. You know, um, it doesn't fix anything that's wrong. 
So, and Middlebury is growing in their industrial area without natural gas. So, you know, this is totally a manufactured need. They come, that, the, that this gas line comes up to here, right behind our, our barns and stuff. So they've got a lot, they own a lot. But when we bought here, our realtor said 150 feet, and apparently that's what our, our attorney thought when he did it all. And the same over here with this guy, he had a woman uh, attorney do his house, same thing. Nobody but nobody knew that they owned 350 feet till this thing started. Then we realized just how much they, they have control of. Yep. Yep, for years all this property's been great. The lake over here, you know, and and all the animals it's and the wildlife and everything. I mean, we've done a lot. I think it's done a lot with. And I'm know, scary because this used to be a so many over here, but I've places in Heinsburg and all over the country where it explodes. But I wasn't here on the 25th when the post office came with a certified letter, so she left a, a card, and I went over and got it on Monday on the 27th. And that's when they wanted it signed and back. I didn't sign it. I just put on the bottom of it, I'm not ready to sign this, as there are several questions that have not been answered. And I emailed this James Whiteside, who's the agent at the time, and he told me not to bother to send it. But I did anyway. No, they couldn't have goat, sheep, or anything down there with that pipeline running through, because they say it does leak. And it would come out, you know, on that line along down through there. And we aren't supposed to touch it. Plus, we could sell a lot down there. There's a beautiful lot down there that we could sell. But we wouldn't be able to do it, I don't believe. I wanted to ask them that question. I haven't gotten to that. It's the same way with the Velcro line. I don't think it's quite fair. I just don't think it is. And when they're only going to offer you like $2,700 for the whole thing, and that's the end of it, and, and I pay almost $4,000 a year in taxes, that's a lot. That's a lot. So, what was And I know I've watched uh, some of them there on, uh, from Vermont Gas on television and all, and they've lied. They truly have lied. Yeah. And everyone else has said the same thing, that they, they know they do. This is going on everywhere, um, and uh, it involves, like, eminent domain and the power of... Uh, money to make it so rich corporations can hire lawyers but poor people can't. So it's really just a sort of like where we're at as an age, you know, the money is too powerful, the legal system's broken down. This is a dark age, man. This isn't an age of justice and righteousness. This is like we are living in dark times. Um, they're blowing up the water supply right now for fracking. They're like making the water undrinkable. It's a huge crime scene.